Good day everyone. Welcome to One Stop Academy. My name is Anthony Chinedu. The title of this lesson is Basic Gmail and Google Drive Skills. Today I'm going to show you how to compose an email, how to send an attachment such as images and documents, how to recover deleted mails from trash, how to check and clear your spam mail. Under G Drive, I'm going to show you how to access G Drive, how to create files and folders on G Drive, how to buy more storage space on G Drive, how to also back up your personal devices such as your laptop and a smartphone on G Drive. Google Drive is a file storage service by Google. It enables you to share, create, and save documents online. Now, how do you access your email? For your mobile phone, you have the mobile app. If you're using Gmail, you have Gmail mail app. If you're using Yahoo mail, you have the Yahoo mail app. If you're on a desktop, you open your browser, then type in I'm going to use gmail, gmail.com and enter your email address. But if you don't have an email address, you click on create account. Then when you create, when you click on create an account, click on for myself. Type in your name, your username, then password, confirm the password and click on next. But I already have an account, so what I will do is to click on sign in instead. And type in your email address. And click on next. Type in your password. And click on next. As you can see, I've successfully signed in to my email. On the right hand side is my mailbox. If there's any new mail, this is where I will see it. Then I'll click on it to read the mail. I can scroll down, I can forward it to another mail. Or reply to the sender so to compose an email you click compose then type in the email address where you want to send the mail to you have the CC and the basis the CC stands for carbon copy why BCC stands for blind carbon copy. If you want to send it to more than one email address and you want uh, the receptors to know that you also copied others in the mail, you click on CC. But if you don't want them to know that you copied others in the mail, you click on BCC and enter the email addresses. But for the purpose of this lesson, I'm going to send it to one receiver, which is the email address here. Then type in the subject and the contents of the mail. You can go ahead and continue typing. That's how to compose a simple mail. Then when I'm done, you click on send. Then as you can see, message sent. I can undo or view the message. Now, how do you send an attachment? The same process, you click on compose. You type in the email address of the receiver. 
type in the subject and also the body Then you click on attach files. Select a document, you can select an image. You can also select a document, a document might be Microsoft Word or a PDF document. So let me attach a document now. The first one is an image, so let me select another document. I'll click on attach files. Then select the location of my document. As you can see, I have a lot of documents here. Go to my desktop. Let to attach this document called ICT in Education. It's a PowerPoint document. And I'll click on open. As you can see, the first one is here, which is an image, and the second one is a PowerPoint document. And you can see the sizes. Let's wait for the network. Done. Then I can now successfully attach two documents now. If this document is more than 25 MB, Gmail will automatically create a link where the receiver will click to download the attachments. So now I click on send. Then message sent on due view message i've successfully sent an email the first one without an attachment then the second one with an attachment and on the attachment to have an image and a powerpoint document now let's check our sent box to know whether our mail was sent successfully when you click on sent you can see the first one the HNADO was successfully sent. Then the second one with an attachment was also successfully sent. So you can see we have the two attachments here. So how do you recover deleted mails? Let's say for instance now if I mistakenly delete a mail. When you scroll down, when you scroll down you click on trash and you see all the deleted mails you come into your trash here or if this, this is the if this is the email you want to recover just click on the email then spam mail sometimes somebody might send you an email and you will not receive the mail gmail might dictate uh, suspicious activity and decide to send it to your spam mail so when you are expecting a mail and you don't see it you go to your spam mail to check for the email on getting to your spam mail you will see all the messages that was flagged as spam mail and why they were flagged as spam mail was that maybe they have sent it to multiple people and gmail detected it and decided to flag it as suspicious mail you can delete all spam messages here and messages that have not been that have been in the spam 
more than 30 days will be automatically deleted. Now, these are the basic sending, receiving email scales. We also have advanced scales, but these are the basic ones. Now, how to access G Drive? On the right hand side, when you click, you will see Google Apps. All the Google Apps are located here. Then, when you click on Drive, it will redirect you to Google Drive. So you can see I have 15 gig storage already. When you have a Gmail account, you automatically have 15 gig of storage. Then, to create a new file or folder, when you click on New, you can select File, File Upload, Folder Upload. That's when you want to upload from your computer. Or you can create a new file. You can also create a, docu a Word document, a spreadsheet, or a slide. If you click on More, you can see all the documents you can create online. Why should you create a document online? When you create a document online, you don't have to worry about losing the document. And you can easily share it from your Google Drive account. So to buy more storage, you click on Upgrade Storage. So to buy 15 gig, 15 gig is free. Then you can buy 100 gig for 3,900 naira a year, and 200 gig for 7,800 naira a year. So every year, Google Drive will charge you 7,800 naira for 200 gig. Now, how do you automatically sync your laptop? or your smartphone with your Google Drive so that your documents, your phone numbers will automatically be saved on Google Drive. On desktop, if you're using a laptop or a desktop computer, when you log into your mail and click on Google Drive, you click on setting. Under settings, you click on get backup and sync for Windows. So when you click on this option, it will redirect you to a page where you download a software that will enable you to sync your computer with your Google Drive. Also know that you need an internet access for a laptop to be able to sync to your Google Drive. So you can see backup files from your computer, camera or SD cards to the cloud. Find your files on any device. Or computer using Google Drive and see your photos in Google Photos. If you click on download, it's going to download. Just agree and download. It's a simple configuration. Just key in your email address and your laptop will automatically be sent to your Google Drive. Thank you for watching this lesson. Also watch out for part two, in-depth um, skills on how to use Google Drive. If you're not subscribed to One Stop Academy, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. If you like this video, click the like button. Thank you.